Cringe Confessional, the cringiest show on the internet. I set up an anonymous form at cringe.coney.gg, and I told my Twitch chat to go to it and submit the cringiest stories of their lives, the most embarrassing moments that ever happened to them. And now I'm going to watch it with my chat, and we're all going to laugh at them. We're all going to have a giggle at their expense and see how silly they are for being stupid and cringe. Don't you want to do that? Let's do it together. But I'm not going to let you do it until you subscribe, because non-subscribers is the most cringe thing of all. And like it while you're down there, please. Watch this. Like the video. Like the video. Like this video. Like, like this video. Did that last one work? Let me know in the comments. Now you got a comment too. Master of engagement. Let's get to cringing. For context, I am a trans female. And while I'm out and happy now, I wasn't when I was 15. And only okay. a few people knew. One of those people was my cousin. Who invited me to go to a convention with her. Since this would be my first time going out in public presenting as a girl, I really went all out on the cosplay. Including a pair of silicone fake breasts. My dad was flying me out to the convention, and we had an early flight. And like an idiot I didn't pack my bag the night before so I was quickly oh, throwing no. my stuff in my bags but it couldn't all fit so I put some of it in my carry-on. Big carry -on. in the carry-on. We eventually oh, got to the God. TSA bag check, and my bag got flagged for a search. The TSA agent went a woo -ga. TSA agent. TSA agent got bricked up. He was like, oh shit, what's going on in there? I need to see those. Wait. Oh. But right as the worker went to pull something out of my bag, it hit me. Yeah. Silicone can't go through that machine. Oh. So you can imagine the humiliation I felt as this poor TSA worker pulled out two very realistic fake boobs from a 15-year-old's backpack at 6 in the morning. Okay, 6 in the morning is good. There's not a big crowd there at that time. If you did this at like 2 p.m., you can't live that down. They're going to talk to everybody in that place is going to talk about it forever. You've set off like a tactical nuke in your tri-county area. Right in front of my dad. Oh. Luckily, the guy was pretty understanding about the situation after I explained it and even let me keep them. Uh, probably not the weirdest thing they've ever seen. And also, I think they realize how expensive this shit is. TSA agents have probably seen way worse. And then also, like, it, that shit's not cheap. But if you think that was bad, then let me tell you the four-hour shoulder-to-shoulder flight was worse. Mm -hmm. It was really awkward at the time. But my dad's come a really long way. Aww. And these days, we still look back at that incident and laugh about it. That's that's very sweet. Yeah, I feel like TSA agents have probably seen way... Like, there are more silicone things that uh, probably get taken a lot on carry-ons that people don't... So this was in high school, start of freshman year. Okay. Being a freshman and starting fresh, you have to find friends. But I don't know how this worked. Oh, that sucks. First doing the have, like, basics by asking a person to sit next to them and their friends, right? It worked. Though for some odd reason I had the desire to create these food amalgamations in the center of our table. Okay, that's a very bad first impression. Why would you do that? Like, this is how you're gonna impress people? Day one? I had no idea what brought this urge on me, but soon enough this was an ongoing event. Oh, I hate that. You're casually food putting kid. what food we didn't eat into the middle of the table oh my and God. mixing it together. Stop! Applesauce with milk and Cheetos, crushing and grapes and carrots to stir. Come Though on, to get rid dude. of them, we always gave what we called the sacrifice to do it. It was a random game where nose goes to choose the sacrifice to take it out. Was it the janitor? I feel like the janitor usually had to do it. One day it got too far. We started the base in a chocolate milk carton and continued from Why there. Why does it always start the chocolate adding chips, milk carton? Adding chips, sauces, no. applesauce, oh yogurt, corn, and other chunky items until it was full. What the fuck kind of school is this with all these foods? You have a golden corral. What kind of... They have a cauldron of food. Corn? Yogurt? Applesauce? Dude, I didn't get all this. One person saw this and thought it was enough. Did they squeeze They it? chose to be the sacrifice and took it out themselves. Uh-huh. Only if it went as smoothly as we had hoped. I love it when I, I love it when chatters try to dra add a little bit of drama. You know, like they could just keep it rolling, but they have to pop in a and then things went wrong. They tripped and yep, fell onto the floor did. with and the I amalgamation of food. For a month. It was on the concrete outside. Oh! Immediately we all had rushed to clean it up and throw it away. Oh, Nobody said a did. word to us about it, but it left a stain <laughs> on the concrete outside. That's very haunting till this day. What the fuck? was in that a stain on concrete what the fuck did you put in that thing you just acid you created chemical x so this is a p story oh, i was in those. my teacher's classroom after school one day sophomore year and i really had to go to the bathroom to pee 
The bathroom is down the hall, so I go but there's someone in there. Uh-oh. There are two stalls and two urinals. I felt embarrassed to go so I didn't. What? I was going to pee myself. What? My teacher's classroom is an old science room so they had a closet. Uh-oh, time to run an experiment. I went back there thinking, where can I pee at? Where can I pee at? Bro, I saw the Bunsen burner. Get a beaker, bro. I then had the smart Boil idea to shit. grab a sandwich Ziploc baggie and pee in there. So I did. A Ziploc baggie? That's a chemical weapon. I then walked out where my teacher and the teacher assistant were waiting and I just <laughs> walked past them. Oh, I didn't see you. What are you doing? I then said going to the bathroom. The baggie no of pee way. was in my right pocket no as I way. walked past them. I then went into the bathroom and dumped okay. the bag into the toilet. Bro, if that guy from the earlier thing was here, I, he like clapped your leg. Oh, what's good? Welcome back. Just hit you in the, in the pocket. Splash. I thought that shit was going to pop. I was positive that shit was going to pop, dude. I thought you were going to pop. My pocket was a little damp, I will say. Oh, stop, stop. No, stop. Okay. Why are you embarrassed to go to the potty? You're about to be an adult and go into the real world. What the fuck is going on there? Go to the potty, bro. I was probably the worst preschooler ever. Oh, yeah? The sandbox was adjacent to the kindergarten bathroom. Oh, it's a pee story. For some reason, there was, was always a bucket of paint in the bathroom on top of a high up shelf. Why? My friend and I would bring chairs into the bathroom, take down the paint, <laughs> and dump it down the toilet every single day. <laughs> what the fuck? Why? What a weird fucked up thing for a kid to do. That's on the staff. How did nobody notice the paint in the toilet? I'd be so fucking mad. The kid could be painting the walls. The kid could be making a much bigger mess. But instead you're causing a very expensive problem. We're gonna have to fix the plumbing. You could just fuck up the walls. One day. A teacher came in and my friend ran away right past her. Every day! The teacher scolded me and I got sent to the principal's office. As a four-year-old. As a four-year-old, by the way. My other friend didn't go because he didn't get caught. <laughs> this marked the end of my paint dumping pipe destroying endeavors. Okay. Until the next day, that is. <laughs> and we never got caught again. Oh no, he's back at it again. Bro, move the paint! But the paints, these teachers are dumb as hell. How do they not solve this mystery of what's going on in the bathroom? When I was 11 years old, my mother took me and my little sisters to this gated community where we celebrated Halloween off. Fuck yeah, where they got the full candy bars? Oh, dude. Halloweening in the rich neighborhoods? My mother had a few friends there, so we were somewhat known gated to the area. Community. This also happened to be the first Halloween where I didn't pick out a costume due oh. to my own indecisiveness so what were and you? wore normal clothes and a jacket. Oh, fuck you. I'm Dave. My mother and her friends were doing fussy paint for their costumes while I sat in the bathroom with them. I sat pouting with the hood of my jacket on, pretty upset that I wouldn't be able to trick or treat tonight. Okay. One of my mom's friends spoke up and pointed out that in my jacket... <laughs> I looked like a little Unabomber. Being a child, I didn't know who that was. Your mom's was, friend is funny as shit. That the Unabomber was some superhero. Yo, the I Unabomber! I hadn't heard of. Honestly, dude, I thought that was the coolest name when I was a kid, too. I was like, damn, that's tight as hell. I thought that was cool as shit. I jumped at the idea of actually being in <laughs> costume, so I didn't. Yeah, have I to am be the left Unabomber. For all the yeah. before treating that night. So I asked my mother and her friends if I could dress as him. I remember them asking, are you sure? <laughs> and I was so confident that I said yes without any hesitation. Dude, your mom and your kid, your mom and your mom's friends are so cool. That's sick as hell. Put on some of their frasopint for his mustache above my lips and sent me on my way. <laughs> Since I was giddy and they weren't done preparing, That's they let cool. me wander around for a bit with another group of I kids. I guess it depends on when this happened, though. If it was in the 90s, probably too soon. If this happened like six years ago, fuck it. It's old news. There was a Spider-Man, a mummy, and the standard <laughs> Halloween jetups. And there I was, unknowingly dressed as the notorious <laughs> terrorist, Ted Kaczynski. A mummy, Spider-Man, Chase from Paw Patrol, and Ted Kaczynski, the Unabomber. Each and every time I'd have parents That's asking so me, and what are you dressed as? I was too young to recognize their face can talk from anticipated delight to suppressed horror every time I gleefully crushed <laughs> them with the full weight of the Unabomber.
and promptly skip that away rules. with a few more pieces That's awesome. of candy. Dude, uh, you know what? I I kind of I kind of want my kid to go out of something vaguely problematic. Just set her out on the world in a gated community where I don't know anybody. Your daughter's gonna be Tanya, Tanya Harding. You think? We need more female terrorists. I've been saying that. Girls get it done. When I was 11, I managed to lose a fight against myself. What? I would just me and her around the house by myself <laughs> because my mother didn't want my brain to rot playing go video games all on the a time. Walk? So I picked up the hobby of mirror boxing. How big is your house? Mirror boxing is where you practice your boxing form by watching yourself box in the mirror. Okay. But I took the anime approach of all fights involving being flung back into the ropes by your punches. Mm -hmm. So, on this day, I was boxing into a couch, and when I would get hit, I would yeet myself into the couch uh -huh. knowing it would catch me. I launched myself for one final blow. Sure. My collarbone directly into the metal frame of the couch. Oh! I was screaming. My Holy parents found shit. me Ow, shaking in fear, and the hour-long trip to the doctor to get it diagnosed was agonizing. Oh. It turns out I split my collarbone oh. in half completely. But hey, at least the other guy went down with me. Oh my fucking god, dude. You split it in half? That's your fucking neck, dude. How does it sit there? Oh god, even just feeling it. I would feel like a Frankenstein. Like, my neck would just... Ooh. <laughs> This is similar to another story someone else shared, but hearing of it rekindled the flame of memory of my own story. Okay. I used to be a very messy child. My room was always a mess, and I was lazy. Okay. One day my dad and two of his friends were cleaning my room while I was off at school, because he got Gotta so fed up with how messy so. my room sure was. Lazy ass ain't helping. Part way through though he found a water gun in the bottom drawer of my dresser, and it was full. Thinking nothing of it, he uh -huh. shot it at this poor girl, thinking it was a harmless stream of water. Okay. Unfortunately, as you may have guessed by now, it was piss. Okay, in case you're wondering, this has happened on Cringe Confessional before, which means there are two people in the world that have filled up a super soaker with pee. That's surprising to me, that two people on the planet would come to that conclusion. Why would anyone do that? Two Coney Chatters, true. <laughs> It's kind of, this stream is the common denominator here, I guess. Oh my god. And now, oh my god. here this was girl was, old. storming the out of the house festering. screaming, covered in my oh my god. old urine. Dude, dude, and stop, And whatever stop, my dad stop. was oh going to pay her initially was certainly not enough to account for the emotional scarring she must have gone through. Have you ever peed in a toilet and you forgot to flush and when you come back it has like a skin on top, like a, like a soup? That shit was coagulating. Ugh. When I got home, my room smelt worse than ever before. Yeah! And I had to get a new mattress. Yeah! As my old one was sitting I idly bet. on the floor, in the middle of the room, right in pissing distance. <laughs> my parents never let me have another wear gun until it was in high school. Uh -huh. But thankfully nowadays I learned my lesson and keep my room tidy. That's, um, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. If I was a parent and I found a pee super soaker gun, I would have a serious talk. And serious reflection, I think, on my on what I did to, to fuck you up that bad. Uh, you would probably go to boarding school. I would send you to the military. Um, you'd go on Dr. Phil. And I'd be like, Dr. Phil, you gotta sort this kid out. When I was in kindergarten, <laughs> I went to Disney World in Florida with my grandparents. We were waiting in line for some ride, and I was talking with them about my activities. Hobbies Love activities and such, and hobbies. as they were understandably curious about what I was doing between being in school. Uh -huh. At this time, I was in Take One Do. While discussing Take One Do, I told my grandparents <laughs> that I could demonstrate <laughs> oh, what no. I learned. Not a I then chip proceeded to Dale. karate chop the shit out of Donald Hi Duck moments after oh taking a picture God. with him. Why? Dude, if you're in the Donald costume, that is a complete blindside. You can't see anything but right in front of you. Your field of view is like 30. Holy shit. I was not a violent kid <laughs> and have no idea what came hey, over Grandma, me watch or this. how I thought it was acceptable behavior. I do recall Donald Duck stepping back and holding onto his stomach, so I may have actually hurt him a little. I've never wished I could do a Donald Duck impression more than this moment. Oh. <laughs> it's like leaning. Imagine him crumbling. Anyway, what happened I didn't to get in any trouble. 
so at the time I don't think I felt any guilt either, <laughs> oh, despite okay. ruining some innocent Disney Park employees day. Hey, nobody kicked me out of the park, so I guess that's okay to do. I would have told all my friends. If I was that kid, I'd be like, yeah, you could just punch Donald Duck in the fucking stomach and he won't do anything about it. Total pussy. Only Donald, though. Anybody else will beat that shit. Do not punch Goofy. Goofy will box you the fuck up. I royally Thanks, embarrassed Indigo. myself at the age of 13. What'd you do? My grandfather was obsessed with baseball. Obsessed? And from a very young age, I played the game, and I became very, very good. Well, At the time how? of this story, I had just been invited to the county all-star team, and was considered Damn. to be a very talented and exciting right, up-and-comer. Fast forward and it's opening day for the all-star team. I was very nervous. And as a consequence, I had been stressed drinking a lot of Gatorade before the game. Okay. A lot of Gatorade. It's a pee story. I took to the mound and was so anxious I felt like throwing up. Mm -hmm. We were under the lights and there were so many people I couldn't handle the pressure. Oh, it's not a pee story. This is when the Gatorade caused an unfortunate it's a, event. It's a vomit story. My first pitch I wanted to be perfect. And so I threw my hardest fast ball I ever had. Uh -huh. The batter rocketed it back to me and I made an incredible leaping catch. Everyone cheered and I could see my mother smiling and shouting in the bleachers. Whoa! I felt a release within myself. Then, the slow trickling oh, of warm pee running story. down my leg. Oh, I couldn't hold it back. No. And before I knew oh, it, my, my God, pants were soaked. Dude. Immediately people started to laugh. Oh, and even no. my teammates couldn't help but join in. I ran off the field, ignoring Whoa. my mother and my coach. And hid in the car. All eyes are on you. You just made the play of a lifetime. Everybody's cheering. It's like, if you're in the outfield, you might be able to get away with this. If you're in the outfield, nobody might, you might not even be noticed. You should have let that ball go. Let it go. Let it fly over. And while everybody's looking back there, pee your pants. I was so ashamed of myself, I couldn't help but cry. Yeah, I bet. I ended up borrowing a spare pair of pants from my catcher you went back. and actually went oh back my and pitched a complete game shutout. Getting shut the out by the piss pitcher? With a triple and what a the fuck? So at least there's a happy ending. I guess. I don't, dude, that, I don't know if I'd be able to live with myself. Baseball superstition dictates you do this before every game. Yup, just dude, chalk the fuck up on Gatorade, take the mound, and then after every first pitch, <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that play of the game, Cam. When I was a freshman in high school, one of my good friends, whom I was friends with throughout middle school, was excitedly telling me that she made it on the color guard team. Cool. She asked me if I wanted to see what the uniform looks like and I don't know why I said this, I guess because I was watching a lot of edgy humor shows like Family Guy. But I said to her, Does it look like a rejected cheerleader? My friend's excitement was instantly gone and I am absolutely horrified that what that came asshole. out of my mouth and I was asshole for no reason when she was the sweetest, what kindest person I knew. Shit, dude. After that we quickly drifted apart and we never spoke yeah, again. Yeah, I bet. Fast forward to now and she's happily married with kids. <laughs> While here I am at 34 years old living with my parents still and submitting to Crunch Confessional at 1 a.m. Hey, thanks for writing in, Shatter. That's a very evocative image. I I've done that before, too. You say something abhorrently mean for no reason other than because you think it's funny in the moment. I was in sixth grade with a whole lot of ADHD. A whole bunch. I went on a weekend youth retreat with my church youth group, which was grade 6-12. Okay. We get to the end of the weekend, and because this was a church retreat, the youth pastor ends the weekend with a very heartfelt message about the power oh, of God's grace and say? forgiveness. He gets to the end bit where he is talking about us personally, uh -huh. and some people are emotional, and overall, it's just a very solemn and serious moment. And However, whatever I had eaten earlier that day had done some damage, oh so I stand up mid-moment and walk out of the room into the neighboring kitchen. It's a poop story. The youth pastor stops preaching and just sort of watches me go. I rip the filthiest fart? cheek I think I've ever ripped. Just sort of a P H H B H H R B R R A T A A T T T T T A T A T T T. Then I walk back in the room. That sounded egregious. What a noise that was. Good heaven. It's a long ass fight. By the way, I think I've spotted whose story this is. Uh, I think he's chatter self-reported. So I was talking about, wow, this sounds like a poop story. And my good friend Ski in the chat said, or just a giga fart. Bro, nobody else thought it might be a fart, but you. Be honest, is this you? <laughs> There's no cut. It's all poop. Hey, maybe the guy just farted. 
I don't think he shit his pants, I bet. I bet he just farted real loud. Let's hear him out. Wait, <laughs> that'd be way more embarrassing if he pooped, but I think he just farted, actually, and I think it made a loud sound. I don't think he pooped, though. That guy would never poop his pants. Maybe just a big fart, though. The youth group just all sort of look at me, yeah. and the youth pastor just seems utterly dumbfounded. The neighboring kitchen door was open, so I effectively just walked to the front of the room, farted the unholiest of farts, then sat back down, while the youth pastor is actively talking. <laughs> not, even, not even waiting for a break? Like, there must be ample time for a break in the conversation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this youth pastor is locked in. He's gonna save these kids. No matter what, even if the devil is in this church tonight. Holy shit, okay. The next day, he made me apologize <laughs> in front of the whole youth group for being such a nuisance. I still remember this and want to throttle younger me on a regular basis. <laughs> he made you apologize? I think that was punishment enough. I mean, I guess it's, he thought you did it for fun. I think he thought you did it as a joke to be funny and defy God. So, about half a year ago, I had gone to a concert with my see? girlfriend and her family. We got back to her house at about 8-ish. Mm -hmm. My girlfriend and I go back to her room and start making out and slowly that escalated uh -oh. until she's on top of me. Then, out of nowhere, her father bursts into the room. This man is a total nerd and loves to talk philosophy, history, and just general science-y stuff with me. Okay. He has found a really cool article that he was super happy to talk to me about breaking down some new images from the James Webb telescope. Okay. Keep in mind, I am literally inside of this oh. man's daughter, and he and I converse for at least 30 seconds oh. before he asks where my girlfriend is. Oh. He thought I was oh. just in her bed alone. I let out an um, and I shit you not this man's face just completely loses color and he goes oh, before Dude. turning heel and walking out the door, slamming it behind him. Dude. After he left, my girlfriend promptly got off of me, <laughs> walked into her bathroom, and started throwing up. Oh my God. I did not look him in the eye for at least two weeks, and I still it's cringe horribly up. whenever I think back on it. He started throwing up? Yeah, you should lock the door, I think. That, okay, this one, again, this one I believe, this is actual, pure, undiluted cringe. This is perfect. This is what the series was made for. He really wanted to talk to you about that telescope. That damn telescope at that exact moment in time. One rainy morning before school, my mom, on her way to work, <laughs> gave me this little plush keychain of the annoying orange of YouTube fame. Sure. To set the scene for this particular day, I was deep in my emo scene kid phase with a swooshed over hair painted black nails, okay. all black attire, right. and knee-high converse. Yep. My the sweet mother shit. just yep. wanted her daughter to wear even a teeny splash of color. Aww. She knew orange was my favorite color and the smile was infectious, <laughs> she claimed. I just wanted it, to I make guess. my mom happy, so I clipped him Aww. on my waist and hopped on the bus. That's sweet. I get to my first class of the day and we're having a test. Uh -huh. We sit down, things get dead silent, ten minutes pass in this state, I leaned forward just a bit and somehow applied pressure to the small orange on my talk. hip. The whole class jumps and screams <laughs> as you hear the iconic annoying orange laugh play at what felt like one million decibels. I quickly try to hide him in my lap to avoid notice as my teacher scans the room. Where the fuck is that coming from? Where is that? I know an annoying orange when I hear it. Where's that goddamn orange? Oh my god, dude! Hey, hey The fuck is that coming from? I pressed him again. Hey Apple, everyone <laughs> is staring at me. Hey Apple! I felt like I was living inside an icy hot patch. The shame was consuming okay, me whole. it was whole. definitely that one. It Not was one person one. thought it was funny, <laughs> nor was I trying to be, and my teacher asked me to get up, bring the gift from my mother to her, and to go sit in the hall to finish my test. I was the annoying orange girl till high school. Yeah, they, th they think that you're, like, trying to do a bit. Annoying orange girl, uh-oh. You should lean into it and just do that in every class now. I can't remember exactly how old I was, but I couldn't have been more than eight. Okay. I was hanging out in our house's basement, playing some game on Ooh, our what Wii. what game? Boom blocks, During this, perhaps? I got the urge to pee. You've got to be fucking joking. This episode is soaked. I got up, went to the kitchenette that was connected to our yep. basement, 
and found an empty two liter bottle. Okay, did, I'm don't. Instead, don't, don't. I have had this thought before, and please don't judge me on it. I would never do it. Whenever I see a two liter bottle, I'm like, how much would I fill it up? I opened it up and opened the floodgates into it. How much did you fill it? However, once I was done, I didn't quite know what to do with the two liter now with my piss swishing around in it. Make a tornado, like spin it around real fast and make it. However, in a galaxy brained, slam dunk home run touchdown hole in one move, I just stuck it in the freezer. Is there anything worse you could have done? I guess pour it onto the kitchen floor. I think the list of of worse things you could have done is shorter than the list of normal thing. Like you you really f fucked this one up. I should note at this point that this freezer is not checked very often at all. Most Popsicle! of our stuff is in the fridge upstairs Pineapple! or the other chest freezer we have. And I thought, hey, that wasn't so bad. Why should I go to the bathroom for a pee ever again? This story was submitted so I by kept using God. the same bottle for months with the same cycle. Open, release, close, freeze. You couldn't get a new bottle. It had to be the same one. Until a few months later, <laughs> Dad found the piss bottle. Oh no! Dad found the piss bottle! He pulled the bottle out and asked what is this? Not in an accusing tune, just a confused tone. I, of course, knew what the cursed <laughs> relic was. Make it sound like an item in Isaac. I sheepishly said that's my pee bottle with the most shame a person could possibly have. Dude. He immediately busted out laughing and took it out to the trash. <laughs> my embarrassment made Dad even worse laughing. when he told all my older relatives about it. Oh, my son's a real pisser, just like his dear old dad. I never did it again, obviously, but at least I'm not 20 plus doing it. Honestly, straight up, and I'm not joking here, this isn't a bit, I feel like this would be a habit that you get and you don't stop. Seriously, I, I feel like if you do this when you're like 10 and it's like and you make a neuron pathway in your brain that this is efficient and convenient, you would you might do it for a long time after, which is bad. So on Connect Adventures on the raft game when you played online multiplayer, yeah, I love the that. game takes a picture of you when you are on a big drop <laughs> okay. and it shows it to the person you are playing against in <laughs> online multiplayer. That's very I funny. was a teenage boy back then and I played this game while shirtless in my underwear in my <laughs> living room. What? I was also on the Tabir side back what? then. What? The game recorded me jumping with my moves in the air the and my stomach flying that? upwards. I'd who got that picture of me. But I hope they didn't <laughs> save it, and I apologize for blinding them for about 10 seconds. That sounds scary. Imagine getting a picture of a dude half naked, mostly naked, in the dark, jumping. That's horrifying. I didn't know Connect did that. Is that legal? Guys, thanks again for watching Cringe Confessional. Did you like it? What was your favorite? Was it the P1? I thought so. That was most of them. Hey, goodbye, chat. So long. See you next time. Goodbye, YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Tonight didn't suck. It just had pee. A lot of pee. Not every story, not every video could be like the last one. The last one was generational.